Hey, it's Gabby Roman here, and today's video is a little different than normal. In the next several days, I'm releasing a free training series on how to start building your Bubble app better, faster, and smarter. If you're new to building apps, or you just want to improve on the knowledge that you already have, then this free series is perfect for you. The clip you're about to watch has been pulled directly from the free training, just to give you a little taste of what to expect. So check out the video and make sure to sign up for your free training by clicking on the link in the description below. Data tabs is where you create your data categories, or in other words, the different types of information you want your app to collect. In a project management app, for example, data types might be things like project, task, and more. Now, within each data type, you have different fields. Fields are what make up a data type. For example, in the data type of task, you might have fields like due date, name, assignee, and status. This is one of the places Bubble really shines because your database is a complete blank slate, meaning you can create whatever you want without limitations. Your data can be as unique as your overall app. To add to that, your fields within your data types can be pretty much anything. They can be texts, dates, numbers, addresses, and more. Creating a data type is really simple. You just come into this sub tab, type in the name of your new data type here, we'll create one called task, and click create. You'd then come over here and create new fields for your data type. So in our field, I'm going to type due date and then select date from the drop down menu since it's a date. But take a look at the options because they're all right here. And we'll click create again. So we now have a new data type and field. Next, you have your privacy tab, which is sometimes a little misleading because it deals with a very specific type of privacy. We're not talking about the security or safety of your app's editor or the design, for example. Instead, we're talking about the security of your database. This is where you dictate who has access to what type of data. The way it works is you create roles for each of your data types. For example, if we wanted to protect the task data type that we just created, we'd start by creating a new role for the task data type. So I'm going to click here to do that. You then have to name your role. I'm going to name this logged in user because this privacy role will apply to anyone who's logged into the app. Once you create the role, you'll see this screen where you create whatever rule it is you want to set. So you tell Bubble, this is what I want to be accessible when a user is logged in. And this is pretty straightforward when you're getting started. We're just going to click on the word click, then choose current user, and then is logged in. So when the current user is logged in is the rule for this role. Now in the top section here, you can decide what logged in users have access to. And if you move to the section right below, you can uncheck certain fields to dictate what access you don't want people who are not logged in to have access to. This is a really simple example, but do know that you can get incredibly specific with these and you can create as many rules as you want. This is a good overview to help you understand the purpose of this tab and how to go about protecting your data. The next tab is app data, where you'll find a spreadsheet like view of all the data in your entire app. You can search through your data using filters or keywords. You can also manually create and edit data here. This is a great place to come when you want to keep track of everything being saved to your database. You can also come here to troubleshoot any issues that pop up. Let's say you have a form in your app that's supposed to collect users' email addresses and phone numbers, and then display them in a user's profile. If you notice that the phone numbers weren't displaying, you could come over here into your app data tab and check to see if they're being saved. If they are, then the display issue would probably be with your elements, your design, or your workflows. If they weren't being saved, you'll be able to narrow that issue down. The next tab is the file manager, where you can see all files that have been uploaded into your database. 
profile pictures, resumes, PDFs, CSVs, or any other type of upload option that you would have would be found here. This section is kind of like your app data tab, but it's just for files. It's very informative and will give you details on things like the file size, date uploaded, and more. Keep in mind, Bubble gives you a file storage limit of 10 gigs, so you'd be able to track or manage that here. Of course, you can add more storage for a monthly fee, but keep this in mind when you're getting started. So remember, you have your data types, which are the categories of data you'll be collecting with your app, and you have your fields, which are what make up those data types. And you also have privacy roles, where you're able to dictate who has access to your app's data.